Most melanomas are easy to be diagnosed clinically and dermoscopically. The question remains open concerning the correct strategy to detect those melanomas that look morphologically unconspicuous from a clinical and dermoscopic point of view. In our estimation, when morphology is not enough to recognize melanoma, one has to use specific management strategies. Here, we summarize seven simple and practical rules that are outlined the need for a more general approach integrating clinical information with dermoscopic examination. In daily practice, the most important goal for a clinician is to identify and treat, treat sick patients while saving healthy individuals from unnecessary procedures. Within the field of skin cancer screening, this translates for a clinician as being able to detect all possible melanomas while minimizing their necessary excisions of benign lesions. The number needed to excise is a commonly used measure to rate the ability of clinicians in reaching this aim. Reported values achieved by general physicians range from 20 to 40 benign lesions excised to detect one melanoma and from 5 to 15 in the context of dermatologists and more experienced clinicians. This number needed to excise rates underline the fact that a certain proportion of benign lesions should be excised, even in the hands of experts, because they closely resemble melanoma from a clinical and dermoscopic point of view. However, these rates also emphasize that expertise of a clinician dealing with melanoma could be me better measured by the number of ignored benign lesions rather than the number of melanomas correctly diagnosed. As a matter of fact, most melanomas are easy to be diagnosed clinically using the ABCD morphology criteria and dermoscopically using pattern analysis or one of the simplified scoring systems. The question remains open concerning the correct strategy to detect those melanomas that look morphologically inconspicuous from a clinical and dermoscopic point of view. In our estimation, when morphology is not enough to recognize melanoma, one has to use specific management strategies. In, pre in a previous report, we described some special dermoscopic clues that may help not to overlook melanoma incognito. Here we summarize seven simple and practical rules that are not only based on dermoscopic examination, but outline the need for a more general approach integrating clinical information with dermoscopic examination. The first rule is look basically at all lesions. A clinically benign looking melanoma will never be uncovered by dermoscopy if not examined with this technique. This is especially relevant for early melanoma like the one presented here, whose small size and clinical characteristics do not allow raising any suspicion for malignancy. Dermoscopy of this lesion revealed clear cut melanoma features, namely blue white veil and peripheral irregular streaks enabling the detection of a melanoma that could be easily clinically overlooked. This example highlights the fact that dermoscopic criteria of melanoma usually become apparent earlier than the clinical ABCD criteria. The rule of examining all lesions is also important in the context of patients with multiple nevi, in which melanoma may be masqueraded among the many benign moles of the patient. Although melanoma in patients like this one may be perfectly hidden among the plethora of a typical neva, the use of dermoscopy for the majority of lesions allowed the recognition of the suspicious one. Opponents of the method argue that examining dermoscopically all lesions would be time-consuming, but it has been shown that with experience, dermoscopic examination adds very little extra time, basically two minutes, especially if a, if a polarized light handheld instrument is used.